Hello and people, welcome back to Journey YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about a topic that we talked about on my channel earlier on, like in the early stage of the channel, like maybe a month in or whatever. Just check, check back on the channel. It's about the Anunnaki and Archons and different extraterrestrial species, extraterrestrial beings that actually came to Earth um, in the begin beginning stages. Beings who actually seeded this planet, who actually made this planet into what it is right now. You get what I'm saying? So, we are diving into all of that. This is actually part two of all of that. In this um, one, I'll be discussing um, a little bit on the races, a little bit on the languages, and how they actually evolve and all of that. So, just stay tuned, keep up, relax, and you know, enjoy the journey. So, in the beginning stages of this whole Earth, right? We are dealing with Earth right now. So, remember, Earth is a planet in the solar system. In the whole, and they say almost a nine of them or whatever. So, just check the level, just think for one moment. Stay tuned and just think. Now, get into all I want to really want to think about this. You know? Like, just think. People say they don't believe in magic and mysticism and all of that. But, we literally live on a, a spear, you know? A spherical shape, a oblique spherical shape, out in another space, a float around the sun on an earth. And people say they don't believe in that magic. All of this is magic. All of this is an illusion. You get what I'm saying? Because you can't really explain what really makes them think they move the earth and everything on earth. So you can't really explain that. I'm sure, so you can't explain it. So, a magic. You get what I'm saying? Now there is a metaphysical other way to describe all of that. And that's why me believe in a spirituality and not religion. Because religion cannot explain how that happened. But science and spirituality and based on the laws of frequency explain how everything happened right and so. So there is proof in the pudding. You get to me I say? That's why most scientists don't believe in no God. And people are afraid for God hell believe in a God and go to church. Because they're so afraid for God and they don't go baptized. But then I realize that hell or heaven is a state of mind where you create in this present moment make you experience heaven or hell. <laughs> heaven or hell is not no place. It's a state of mind, it's a frequency range where you exist but based on your thoughts and emotions. You get to me and say, no, that's all about that. Just think about that. Alright, if you're a smoker, grab a spliff. If you're a tea drinker, go and sip some tea and listen. Just listen. Give me a listening ear. Just listen to all of this. My son, Perfect from what you were thought, from from what you were taught, from what you were taught when while growing up, church, school. It might sound far away from all of that. It might cause you to question your reality. But listen, just listen. All right, Anunnaki beings. The Anunnaki are actually melanated extraterrestrial beings from higher dimensions. Dimensions existing between the sixth, from the sixth dimension going upward. You get what I mean? Now, in the sixth dimension, the beings who exist in the sixth dimension are called architects. They actually are the beings that go around and see planets. There are a lot of planets like Earth. There are a lot of planets that other beings live on to in the whole universe. We're not getting at that today. But these beings are beings that travel the universe at free will. They travel the universe to create. The sixth dimension is creativity. It deals, it deals with the shapes, geometry. How things are created. That is what the sixth dimension deal with. Now the beings that actually came here um, in Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, Atlantis, and all of them places there. Remember, those were great civilizations that were run by black people, melanated beings only. At one point, there was only melanated beings on this place, on this planet. No, all melanated beings came on this planet. This through the Anunnaki. Before the Anunnaki came, if you check the genetic, the genetic evolution of the human race, there's a big split between the great apes. There's a big time split between the great apes. No, not big split. There's a quick, you know, it doesn't make no sense with the time frame of evolution from great apes to human beings. Because evolution now happened overnight. And almost overnight, this whole change happened between great apes and humans. You get what I'm Greater apes, you know, because Bipedal beings, not the great apes we use today. We never use them one day. We use the great, the greater apes, them, the one of them bipedal, the one of them walk upright. But they call human like beings. You get what I'm saying? 
Now when the Anunnaki came, stay with me now. No. When the Anunnaki came down, they not tell you, these are beings where travel the universe in spaceships, whatever they use, and sea planets. You get what I'm saying? Now their purpose for coming to Earth wasn't really solely to create beings, you know. But well, they are creators. So when they come here, they see how beautiful this place was and they say alright boom, we find, we find say, this place needs evolution because remember as I said in the previous video, the earth actually sends out a signal when it wants to evolve and if the earth wants to evolve, the earth is going to attract beings of higher dimension to raise the vibration of this planet and the vibration of the planet is raised by us can have a direct connection to the earth. So if we are think a certain way, we have a direct impact on the earth, which is what's happening right now. To improve the thinking, start thinking more positive, start thinking more uplifting thoughts, get rid of the whole slavery illusion, get rid of the whole you know control structure for them set to it. And the reality change, you see that change, the system actually has collapsed right now. If you really look around and look, the system is collapsing, that's why they come with this COVID thing. They might try to hold on, you know, but it's not going to work. Now, I'll tell you who is trying to hold on. Now, when the Anunnaki came, them, remember, you can really watch by the video. If you, if, you, if, you, if you think I missed something, suggest it, um, ask it in the comments. I'm willing to come back to the next video, whatever, and explain more about whatever. But I don't really want to make the video too long. You get what I'm saying? If you have specific questions, ask them in the comments and we'll answer. So when Anunnaki came now, Anunnaki are melanated extraterrestrial beings from higher dimension. They came down, saw the bipedal mammals, then realized that the, first, the reason why they people come here in the first place because they were attracted by the earth. The earth called them, literally sent out a signal to attract them to our. You get to imagine? They you know about the laws of attraction, they know that. You know? The earth attracted them, they come down, see the bipedal mammals because they were the most evolved. They, 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 the, the, the bipedal mammals were the most evolved beings on the planet at the time. You get to me, I said? No humans ever did go yet. No. I don't know if you know, came down and they didn't have sex with these beings because, <laughs> you know, it, it can't work. If a mule and a, and a, if a mule and a, if a, if a horse and a donkey have sex, it's gonna bring a mule and a mule cannot procreate. So yeah, work like that, two different beings. So now they take, they study the beings then, put them in a lab. So they were, as they have different color here, they were the Aram, Aram Dutton looking. There was a whole heap of them, and they can do the research, a whole heap of different type of beings. As they have human variation in the way the ways how humans look, and the ways how humans speak, the ways how humans act, because it's based on the genetic information from the bipedal mammals mixed with the Anunnaki genetics. So when you mix the two genetics, same like with plants or whatever you see in a, in, when they're doing at the lab them. Some of them domesticated animals here and mix them mix genetics from wolves with all some different things to make them more submissive, more family oriented and them thing there, like pets and them thing there. So listen, a long time genetic um, manipulation has gone and we introduce it to the planet. You get what I say? Black, black people, melanated beings, and we introduce them. We are master genetic, geneticists. You get what I'm saying? That's what we do, we create. Now, put the two genetics them together. A, a brand new being is formed, a brand new frequency is, is produced. You get what I'm saying? A brand new frequency is produced. Now, when you produce a brand new frequency, based on the extraterrestrial that supplies the genetics with the um, with whatever bipedal mammal, that same extraterrestrial can easily connect to that um, connect and incarnate through that bloodline. You get to me I say? So now get the steel with me you now. So now realize what they're gonna do, they're gonna create vessels because they know that a time like this is going to come. And not even just a time like this, they wanted to incarnate in earth. So when time them supplies a genetics without being from the earth, which are genetics from where they are from, it creates a connection between the two beings. So now if a being from the sixth dimension wants to incarnate in the third dimension, which is Earth. It can simply incarnate because it already, they already came here and created vessels for that incarnation process because it can only incarnate based on frequency, resonance. 
It's a magnetic resonant frequency. So a beam of a lower, <laughs> you know, a lower um, version or whatever, but I never incarnate in a melanated body because they don't have the frequency resonance. Their beam doesn't have the frequ frequency resonance to incarnate in another body. So the Adonans were creating vessels for incarnation. So they create the vessels, they know, different, different vessels for different, different purposes by seeding different um, bipedal mammals. You get what I said? It created a different frequency range. So that is what we were, but that's what the Adonans were doing creating vessels for incarnation. And as I said, incarnation works on frequency resonance, a certain bloodline. So if you come from a Anunnaki genetics, Anunnaki can simply incarnate in your bloodline. A lot of us right now are Anunnaki beings in the flesh, you know, walking the earth, Anunnaki God in this present time, and we have always been doing it, you know. And if I say they have regular human beings too, where they supply to the regular things and they have different, I'm telling you, they have different, different beings for different purposes. You right? You know? So, the Archons, because all the Archons came now, which is the beings who are the reptilians, or the Matako, in this place, or they even they here right now, because the Anunnaki came, and when they attract, when the earth attract good, it attracts evil too, so two, positive and negative. So it, attract, it attracted the negative being, they came later on, came in their spaceship, their land, and them there, but we couldn't really notice them there immediately because we were giants, we were big, we were very big, you know. If you check the record, they might find fossils of giants a lot, but they just don't want to tell a lot of people. They find fossils of giants, they know the giants were used to bigger, black people used to bigger, we used to live way longer. If you check the Bible, Moses and some other prophets used to live 500, 600 years. We used to live very long. And with the big, we used to eat just plants and whatever. And so now the archons came, which is a lower dimensional being. The archons are beings that exist in very low dimensions. They are like directly opposite, direct opposite of the Anunnaki. Anunnaki are, are, are high dimensional beings that are like intelligence. So when the archons came, they are the ones who brought slavery to this place. They have a slavery mindset, they like to enslave, they like to capture, they like to, you know, they like to, they just like to fuck up things. I just, I just saw them, that's the nature of them beings. They can't do no better, I just saw them steal. So when they come here and they say everything around good, we you now find them after a while, teach them a way, because we feel so sorry for them people, we realize that they're very low, they come in. But as I said, before we even get into that, when these beings came, they saw the bipedal mammals. They are master geneticists too. They just have a different mindset, a different way of thinking from us. They don't think, you know, they are like a negative force in the, in the universe. And if we need them, because there, there has to be balance. You, know, you can't just have positive and have negative. No, no works. It no works. I mean, I tell you. It just, we would have loved if it works, so, you know. I'm not sure that you would have loved if it works, so, but it does not work. So. <laughs> you get what I So. Yeah man, they, they saw the bipedal mammals too, like the Anunnaki. And them splice for them genetics with it. And then when them do that now, they realize the shit. Our, our beings then don't look like the Anunnaki. Because them are pale skinned beings by nature. They are pale skinned pale skin extraterrestrials. So when them mix for them genetics now with um, the bipedal mammals, so why people get created? Neanderthals and yada yada yada. Because this planet. Cannot, this planet will never produce a being that can use the sunlight. It's not possible. We never create, and a higher dimensional being will not create a species that cannot deal with the sunlight or have as much connection to this realm as possible. Because we have sense. Now, them beings here don't have enough sense really. They just want to do things, to do things. And they know their kindness is very low. They don't really understand much about the whole thing. And you know, they will do foolishness. Because when they don't know something, they will do for me. You know, so they come now. Apply the genetics. As I said, it was RDN that we have to create conflict. So nothing around with them do the same way if you check the levels. Come created the beings you now, the, the, the white race. Automatically, remember, are two opposing extraterrestrial groups. Automatically, when them apply the genetics with the apes, them are create white people. The white people they think we are different from the black people. They never think like we. They might think for rape, they might think for rap, they might think for exploit, they might think for steal. They might do a lot of things that we just couldn't sit through and we have to wait. What's wrong with them people here? 
you know, why do I do so much things where I you know, right? try to teach them always. Some of them smart enough to learn our ways, but when they learn our ways, they never stick to it and just want to share. They wanted to steal our knowledge and hide it away from us. And they did that. And that's why we're in the state over there now. Because the fuck are them going in and got teeth out the scrolls and teeth out everything and hide everything away after a while. Because then we trust them so much that they get so fucking powerful and tricky and fuck we up. You know? Because we have tried to help them out of love. And I try to change them out of love. But love never changes. They never that resonate with that. Them that them still have it deep rooted in their mindset to do with what they came to do. They came to rob, steal, exploit, trick, and all of that. So they may not do it. And this is why we're there today. So now black people need to realize all of that. Go back into the history, check records, check things, and read, read, black people read. You know, Marcus Gabby said to read and no man to take up for going on the one of things. Read no brother, read. Just read, read, research, read. You know? And listen. Learn to can read, learn to read. The English language are the easiest language to read, because it's a very low frequency language, it's, it's slow. You it, it can read, it's it easy to read, you know? Yeah, so then after that, that now they create the beings them and the clash happen. And that's why we're here today. That's the whole clash between the different, the opposing um, genetics because white people lack melanin and if you watch the video about melanin you realize that melanin has a lot to do with the psychology if you have no melanin in your skin it's hard for your love it's hard for your share it's hard for your compassion you know that's why you find a lot of bothered people out there and have no love but check the man there and I want to be the most fuckery a bothered people, people put out their hair every day shine 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 and they realize that they're an idiot Honestly, I'm willing to say them here because I'm witness enough of them. They don't have no love, they will show them love and they just, you know, they don't know for how. And they'll get to say, oh man, they can't agree. So, and a lot of people and they can't agree either. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, man. So that's what I thought they had in the Arkans. Yeah, man, so it was a whole genetic um, experiment and it lead up to this today. We actually, the Bible talk about the rapture. You know about the rapture. The rapture is actually talking about black people. And what about the Bible in a revelation I talk about black people and then the Christ will return. And the Christ consciousness. Black people is the Christ consciousness. You know? And Christ is not one person. Christ is a consciousness. It's a level of consciousness with black people. We represent black people. We are the Christ consciousness. We are the ones who saw the stars and great mathematicians, great scientists, and we invent them someday in other places. So, when I see some people like my football, some Albert Einstein and some Ray 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 and some, no. I copy them, copy it out of the schools and come and teach it back and I'm going to tell them that. I don't even discover them. They say to me, I say, are we? Are we discover it, man? Check the history. Are we black people? Black people are used ancient Egypt without have technology greater than even now. Mesopotamia, they have technology greater than even right now. So, we invent technology. Hmm? They, they remove all that from history and come and tell us that some white man discover this and that and that. No, Tesla didn't really discover about free electrons. I never Tesla. A black people. Check the level, you know. <laughs> so, I'm not getting into all of that right now. More the video never too long. Respect one of the journey YouTube channel once more. As I said, um, comment, let me know what you think. If you have any specific questions, ask it. Willing to fail explain myself because this is real thing I mean all nobody thinks there are some little thing where you know because it is important facts and people need to know about them thing here and stop to get up and go to church and some foolishness. Why do you think they turn them locked down? It's the age of Aquarius. Everything has to be revealed. Every fucker has to stop right in this age. This age is the age of knowledge. It's the age where everything I'm gonna just release release, you know everything I'm gonna be uncovered. They, they can't hide nothing again. Information they are about. Even the baby can get information. Even the dog can get it if you want it. That's right? So, you feel like humans are supposed to start grab the information you man, and start using it for ourselves. Because, as I said, the rapture was talking about black people. When they said their souls are going to get snatched up, it doesn't mean they literally are going up in the air. It means that the vibration of the being is going to be raised. You know? The frequency of the being is going to be raised. The consciousness of the being is going to be raised up. You know? And so the Christ consciousness is, is created by the raising of the consciousness to a certain point where it reaches Christ consciousness, see, and actually 
can start manipulating the universe. Actually, you can start thinking in terms of love, care, and all them something. And that is what Christ consciousness is. Besides, so one of the journey with you can help to be good.